We all sweat. Sweating is essential for the regulation of body temperature. The evaporation of sweat on the skin cools the body off. Your body is equipped with an average of 3 million sweat glands. But why doesn't the sweat on your face or chest smell bad? It's because of the difference in the composition of sweat. Our body produces two different kinds of sweat. The first kind of sweat is produced by eccrine sweat glands. These sweat glands are located all over body. The sweat produced by these glands is composed of water and salts only. It's odorless. Apocrine glands, on the other hand, are developed during puberty and are mainly present in your armpits and the groin region. The sweat they secrete is full of proteins and fats. By themselves, these secretions are generally odorless. That's where bacteria come in. Many microorganisms thrive in the moist environment of our armpits. Species of bacteria like cornibacteria, staphylococci, micrococci, and others love to make your armpits their home. When these bacteria feed on the proteins and fats of apocrine sweat, they turn the odorless compounds into foul and nasty smelling compounds. The bacteria break down the sweat and they form products called thioalcohols, which have scents comparable to sulfur, onions, or meat. Washing your armpits regularly can reduce the bad odor, but it won't completely eliminate it, since a lot of bacteria live deep inside your skin. Deodorants, on the other hand, penetrate deep into the skin to inhibit bacterial growth. Antiperspirants block the sweat glands so your body won't be able to sweat. No sweat means no odor. It is advisable to use a good quality antiperspirant if you don't want your crush to run away from you. Body odor has one plus point though. You can't catch coronavirus since most people will socially distance themselves from you. Armpit sweat smells bad but not as bad as the burger in my local McDonald's. Thank <laughs> you.